Hello, folks, and welcome to Cudlow. I'm Larry Cudlow. All right, a bunch of big stories today. Joe Biden says Israel is losing support. Oh, my gosh. Meanwhile, Chuck Schumer and the Democrats still won't come to their senses on closing the border, even as tens of thousands of illegal migrants are streaming into the U.S. on a daily basis. And meanwhile, Donald Trump appears to be fighting Jack Smith and the Supreme Court at the same time. We're going to have live reports from Capitol Hill and the southern border in just a few moments. Later on the show, we're going to go to Israel, where the IDF is mopping up Hamas left and right. But first, a few quick points on my part. I want to talk about why Joe Biden is so unpopular in economic terms. Consumer inflation jumped slightly in November, but that marks the 32nd straight month with annual uh, percentage rising significantly faster than the 2% Federal Reserve target. Hat tip for Breitbart's John Carney for nagging all of us about this key point. Inflation has slowed, but it's still rising, and it's still well above the Fed's target. Now, here's just Joe Biden's problem. Since February 2021, which was his first month as president, consumer prices are up 17%. But average weekly earnings up only 12.8%. So that's a drop in take-home pay for typical families of over four percentage points. And that is a killer for Joe Bidenomics. Meanwhile, you look under the hood, grocery prices are up 21%. That's another killer for Joe Bidenomics. Energy prices, which have come down, are still up over 30%. Gasoline prices well off their highs, but even at $3.13 AAA nationally, they were $2 last Christmas. Ouch. Another killer for Joe Bidenomics. So, eating at home? Well, chicken is up 24%. Beef is up 22%. Cereals and bakery up 25%. Now, you got to eat your veggies and have some fruits, too, but that's up 13.5%. Milk for the babies? Well, dairy is up over 16%. And here's another one you might not think of. Fertilizer. That's up nearly 36%. And why is that important? Because it affects farm prices big time. And why is fertilizer up 36%? Because of the Bidenomics Green New Deal war on fossil fuels. But even with all these economic and political killers, President Biden still has not wised up. He just intensified his war on natural gas by issuing a regulation to abolish methane. But as Steve Moore points out, this is preposterous because natural gas, which is a clean burning fuel, is the biggest reason that carbon emissions have declined in recent years. In fact, Joe Bidenomics wants to abolish coal and natural gas, which combined is 60% of our total electric power. And of course, natural gas comes from oil, so that closes the fossil fuel circle, doesn't it? This is crazy. Killing electricity, jacking up farm and food prices, sinking family wages, you know, I'd really like to meet Sultan al-Jabbar. He is the uh, UAE host of this UN climate conference. What is it? COP28. He said, and I'm going to quote, please help me. Show me a roadmap for a phase-out of fossil fuel that will allow for sustainable socioeconomic development unless you want to take the world back to the caves. All right? Back to to the caves. We'll t I want to meet him. I really want to get him as a guest on this show. We're going to talk about all this later in the show. We've got Steve Moore, Liz Peake, and Kevin Hassett for a dynamite panel. All right.